From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Agricultural company Corteva AgriScience considers Africa as an important market for the company as it presents a multitude of opportunities for agricultural development. Tasneem Bulbulia has the story. Corteva AgriScience Africa and Middle East President Prabdeep Pajwa outlines Corteva and its role in Africa. Corteva uh, is a new company. We formed uh, about eight months ago uh, as a spin off from the Dow DuPont merger. So in June of 2019, Corteva AgriScience uh, took, took uh, birth really, and we were listed on Wall Street uh, uh, in New York as an independent uh, company. We are uh, one of the largest standalone agricultural companies uh, in the world. Uh, we have Africa Middle East as an independent region, which we're very proud of. Uh, and the reason for that is Corteva sees Africa as a very, very important continent, a very, very important uh, opportunity for the agricultural sector. And hence, uh, we are here on the continent for a long time, for several decades. Uh, we have flagship brands in the seed industry, Pioneer brand and the uh, Panar brand. And we also have a very strong crop protection uh, chemical business. And uh, on the Af African continent, we have about 12 countries where we have people on the ground where we have seed production facilities, we have uh, local breeding research, um, assets on the ground. But we do business in over 50 countries in Africa. And for us, Africa is a very, very important continent because this is where a lot of growth is going to happen. Uh, the population is going to double in the next few decades. And Corteva has a big role to play in, in improving productivity on the farm across Africa. Corteva, like I said, has uh, you know three platforms. One is the seed platform. Uh, which has uh, the Pioneer and the Panar brands, where we bring hybrid technology, which improves the productivity on farms, which is going to be very, very critical for food security. We have the second platform is the crop protection chemicals, which is to protect the yield on the farms. Uh, we're very proud of that pipeline because it helps control insects, it helps control weeds, uh, helps control against diseases. And the third platform we're going to be building is the digital platform. So all of these uh, platforms are available in, in, in Africa and they will play a big role because we bring these solutions for uh, improving the productivity on the farms. Um, you know, we've seen examples where our hybrid technology improves the yields from two metric ton to five, six metric ton. So it's improving livelihoods. Fajwa indicates that Corteva views South Africa as its most important market for growth in Africa and will be using the country as a springboard for agricultural developments across the rest of the continent. South Africa is our most important market. South Africa is the beacon for our, all of Africa. It's the most developed market. Uh, we're standing in one of our flagship sites, and as you can see, this is research at work. This is the outcome, and these wonderfully laid out plots show, showcase our seed products. And South Africa, again, in terms of the productivity, is the highest in the, in the region. Uh, it's also good. South Africa is interestingly, not interestingly, not surprisingly, number one uh, in terms of food security uh, and the availability of food uh, that is, uh, you know, nutritious and safe uh, and, and affordable. So South Africa, you know, like I said, is a beacon for the rest of Africa. South Africa adopts technology very, very quickly. And that's the reason that, uh, you know, Corteva AgriScience has invested heavily in South Africa. Uh, we have uh, one of seven global technology hubs is located in South Africa, so we're very proud of that. What that center does is, uh, you know, bring in global research, bring in global uh, technology and, and test it, adapt it for South Africa. So what we do in South Africa will go, is going to be used for the rest of Africa. So this serves as the regional headquarters and we disseminate technology from South Africa. Bajwa details the initiatives the company is undertaking in agriculture in South Africa, including technological developments. The biggest one is, you know, technologies in improving um, yields. Uh, drought uh, tolerance is a big one. As we know, the climate is very volatile. You know, you have rains, uh, unpredictable rains or unpredictable dry weather. So we have a uh, technology center here in Hooker Crawl in Western South Africa, where we're doing research around drought. Uh, fall armyworm is a very, very uh, severe pest that has now invaded uh, the African continent. So we're doing a lot of research uh, on that. I mentioned the technology hub. So Corteva AgriScience has the largest private insectary on the continent. What that insectary does is we have entomologists, we bring in uh, proteins and we test the insects and we find out ways to you know, control those insects. So we have uh, chemistry uh, platforms uh, that will help control fall armyworm. Uh, so all of those technologies uh, are, are based here. Those are opportunities that we're going to make sure are disseminated across the, 
for the rest of the continent. The biggest challenge right now is Mother Nature. You know, we, you, your climate is getting more volatile, and then uh, from that perspective, we have to stay two steps ahead of you know Mother Nature. But that's not always easy. Which means we need to keep investing in innovation. We need to keep investing in in more research, local research, uh, and we're doing that. We're very proud of uh, the investments we're making. Corteva Southern Africa Business Director Tony Esmeralda also mentioned some of the developments underway in South Africa. We talk about new technologies. Uh, as you know, just about uh, 20 kilometers from here, we've got our research station. We, we have a private insectary. We also, in terms of the biotechnology, are launching new technologies in the next two to three years to farmers. One example of that is PowerCore, uh, which are uh, insect resistant genes and herbicide tolerant genes that will be launching in the next two years for farmers in South Africa. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.